In today's video, I'm going to show you how to display your Google Photos like never before. This is the Lenovo Smart Frame. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. So earlier this year at CES, I got a sneak peek of the Lenovo Smart Frame, and I was really excited about what it could do. So a few months ago, Lenovo put out an Indiegogo campaign where you could purchase this at a discounted rate to be one of the first people to try it out. So that's what I did. And so today we're going to set it up and see everything that it can do. Now the Lenovo Smart Frame is pretty much a new generation picture frame that is cloud connected. So it's gonna work with Google Photos and automatically update with photos. So something I'm really excited about it. So let's go ahead and see what's inside the box. So there we go, Lenovo Smart Frame. On the box, it really doesn't give much more details other than it works with Google Assistant and it works with Google Photos. Two of my favorite things. All right, so here is the frame. Now the screen size is 21.9 inches and the canvas size is 15 by 24. So we'll get to that in a minute. Also inside the box, we just have um, some instructions here as well as the power cord and the mount that you can mount it on the wall. Now the cool thing about this mount is it lets you orient it from portrait to landscape very easily. It also comes with these screws and anchors that you might need to put this in the wall. Now inside there is one more box and this is the metallic frame that you can put around the outside. Now I heard that you would be able to order different styles of this, but right now this is what comes with the Lenovo Smart Frame. Now the frame does weigh 10.25 pounds or about four and a half kilograms. So you do need to make sure that you mount this properly and um, that it's secured so that it does not fall down. Now down here on the canvas, it does have an ambient light sensor, so it can automatically adjust with the lighting in the room, as well as a uh, motion sensor. So you can wave your hand left and right and change the photo that's on screen. And then you'll also have some on-screen controls. So the frame itself is pretty nice. So you could have it just mounted like this. And then on the back here, you have where you're going to place the mount and you have these locks on the side that will allow you to lock and unlock it onto the mount. So let's go ahead and get the mount installed. The next step is to figure out where we want to hang the frame. So I thought it would be a good idea here amongst our little gallery wall. Another option is replacing this bigger photo with this smaller frame, but the good news is, is it will constantly change and always be a new photo. And one other option is over here on our shelves. We'll get to that in a little bit. I decided to replace this canvas with the photo frame here. So I'm going to mount it on the wall and the first thing I'm going to do is find the stud. Next, I'm going to determine the height. I am a little tall, so I'm going to have this under my eye level, hopefully more in line with everyone else. Next, I'm going to install the wall mount and here I'm going to put the little level at the top piece and then I'm going to mark the four screw holes and then I'm going to drill a pilot hole and then I'm going to screw into the stud making sure it's level and then screw in the remaining screws. So now when putting the Lenovo Smart Frame on the mount, there are two ways you could plug it in. So one, you could keep it plugged into here, but when you do that, every time you rotate it, the cable is going to rotate. So is what you actually wanna do is plug this directly into the mount. So here you can see right at the bottom, there is a place for the plug. So you plug that in and when it snaps fully, it has this lock. So somebody can't come by and just pull it off. But then when I want to unplug it, I push that down and I can unplug it. So let's plug that in and then snap on the frame. Just like that, it locks into place. Now the power brick on this is pretty big. So this is a standard size I've seen on other Lenovo smart home products. One of the problems with mounting this on my other wall is I have this recessed outlet here and there's just no way it would have fit in there. Um, here where I did plug it in, you can see that I do have quite a bit of extra cable. And so the cable is just dangling there. 
Now let's talk about the power cable for a bit. So it does just sit there and hang. Um, the nice thing is, since I can plug it into the actual dock, it doesn't rotate when I rotate the frame, so that's really nice. But uh, one thing is, it is against code to put the cable through the wall. So you can't put a hole behind here and a hole down the bottom and run the cable. That is a safety hazard. Now there are a few ways in which you could do this to hide the cable. So um, one of them is there are little boxes that you can buy that you would put a hole back here. So you need to make sure that it's away from the mounting bracket and then it doesn't show when you rotate it. And then is what that would do is it puts a cable down here that you can then plug in. And my friend uh, Paul from Tampa Tech actually made a video about that. So I'll leave it up here so you can check it out. So that's one option. The next option would be to actually put an outlet right behind the frame. But the problem with that is the power brick here is so big. So it would have to be a uh, outlet that is able to be recessed into the wall so that you could fit the power brick behind here. And the third option would be to get a cover here for the power cord and then it could stick to the wall and you could paint it the same color as your wall and that might hide it a little bit better so it's not dangling here all the time. So those are some of my recommended ways in which you could hide the power cable. Next for the frame, you could just use the smart frame as is, or here we are going to attach the decorative metal frame, which I think has a really nice look to it. Now on one side, there is the Lenovo logo. I ended up putting that at the bottom, so we're not gonna see that as often when we're looking from the right side of the frame. On boot up, it's now asking for us to download the Lenovo smart frame application. This app is available on Android and iOS devices. So that's this one right here. So we're gonna open that up. So here it says, welcome to Lenovo smart frame. Then we're going to create an account. Now that I have my account, let's go and add a new device. And I'm going to allow for it to access location. And there it found the smart frame and over on the smart frame, it's showing the same number. So we're gonna connect those together. And now we are going to add our Wi-Fi network so that it can directly connect to Wi-Fi. All right, now we are connected and we need to name the frame. I'm just gonna keep it default Lenovo smart frame, or maybe let's just simplify that a bit and call it smart frame. And then here you can choose what room it's going to be. Let's have it in the living room. Next. And now we're going to link our Google Photos so that we can see them over on the smart frame. Now, other than the built-in artwork, Google Photos is the only photos that you are able to view on the smart frame. So if you don't have your photos uploaded to Google Photos, you definitely need to download the Google Photos app available on Android or iPhones and start uploading and organizing your photos there. I have a video about how to do this that I will leave at the end, or you can click on the pop-up on screen. And here we're going to choose our account to link. And now we need to grant permission for the Lenovo smart frame to access Google Photos. Success. Next, it's talking about a feature called channels. So it says your smart frame is made up of channels that can determine the type of content you see and can easily be switched. So by default, there are three different channels. We have the photos from Google Photos. We can use the art gallery photos that come with the smart frame. And then we have recommendations from the entire photo library. So here first we can choose what photos we want from our Google Photos library. So I've already gone in and created different types of albums. So I'm just going to select this album and you could go through and add different albums. And here you also have an option for smart frame favorites. We'll see what that is in a bit and you can scroll down and see your entire library. So let's select next. And now we have the option to choose motion control. So there is a gesture and sensor on here where we can swipe left or right. Here it says we need to be within 21 inches or 55 centimeters of the frame for this to work. And you can swipe left to go next. You can then swipe right to go to the previous one. And then you can also swipe up to go to the next channel. And then on the border of the frame, there are some buttons. So you can tap to next, you can go previous, and then you can tap next channel or press and hold to favorite a photo. And then this does have Google Assistant control from other devices. So if you already have a Google Home in your house, you can actually control the frame with that Google Assistant device. So here we can find voice control under device list and settings. And then here's some information on privacy we're going to allow. And now it is updating the smart frame. So here on the app, it says if it has successfully rebooted, just select back. And then here you can see the smart frame and we can go in and adjust 
any of the settings. So let's go and check out the frame. The smart frame is now fully set up and as soon as it rebooted after updating, it is now showing photos and it's changing a little bit because I am right here waving my hand around, but so far very impressed with how it looks. So here it is showing photos uh, that I just took the other day from Google Photos and it automatically uploaded, which is awesome. And then here are the controls. So if I wanted to go to next, I can tap the plus, it would go to the next photo. I can push minus and it would take me back. And if I want a favorite one, let's swipe over, there we go. If I want a favorite, I can hold down on the star and then it will favorite that item. And right there at the top, it will show a little star indicating that it has been favorited. So now let's try the gesture. So if I want to just look at a few different photos, I can just swipe and that will work. Now let's try out the distance of the motion controls. So here you can see I'm about a foot away, works no problem. They're about 20 inches away and here about two feet, it does not work. So pretty good motion controls to change picture and then to change channel are up and down. So there you can see it's very easy to navigate and if I don't use the gesture controls, it's then just going to scroll through the photos. So now let's say I want to go to a different channel. So this is the Google Photos channel right now. Let's swipe up and now we are on the Lenovo Frames channel. So these are um, pictures that they have curated for the smart frame that it's automatically going to show at no extra cost. So we can go through and do the same thing. We can scroll right or left to change. And I really like how there isn't glare to this. It actually is a really nice looking picture and it does look like a photo is on the wall, which is really neat. So then let's go to the other channel. And then here on this channel, it's showing just all of the different photos that I have set up on here. So for my Google Photos album, from the Lenovo Frames album. And so these are all kinds of photos. And I do like down here on the bottom, it's showing that date. So you can kind of know when that picture was taken. So as you can see here in the portrait mode, it is showing two photos at once. Let's go ahead and rotate it. And there it automatically adjusted for this rotation. And here, because this is a portrait photo, it's showing two of those. Let's go to the next. And now you can see that this landscape photo looks really great on here. It's just so bright and vibrant. So um, there you go, can rotate and it will automatically adjust. And then I have the same things. I can swipe up to go to the art gallery and um, see all the different photos that Lenovo has there. Now let me show you all the current settings you have available in the application under the smart frame. Now this is a brand new product and I think we're going to see a lot of updates come out over its time period. So first of all, here you can see what is currently showing on the frame. So I just can tap next and scroll through it right here on my phone. Down here on the bottom, we have brightness controls so I can easily change the brightness manually so I can go all the way down to totally dim and then I can make it full brightness right there. Next, we have photo settings. So this is how you can adjust um, when is showing, what's showing, how it's showing. So first we have show time. So if we turn this on, we can have a 12 hour clock or a 24 hour clock show up right there on the frame. And that's really nice, similar to like a Chromecast, if you wanna have the time up there at all times, that is how you would do that. Next we have display photo created date. So you have an option on your own personal photos for it to show the date that that was created. That's just really nice so you can remember exactly when that was. Next you have lock photo orientation. So if you wanna rotate it without it rotating, you could do that. Here we have show pairs. Here when using our own photos, you can see that it's showing a pair. So two photos next to each other. Usually they are photos that were taken very close to each other. So if you don't want to see the pairs, you are able to turn that option off. Next you have slideshow speed. So if it's going too fast, you can come in here and you can turn it off. So it actually doesn't play a slideshow. It just shows one photo. You can go 10 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute, three minutes, or you can go up to five minutes and we'll keep it at 30 seconds. And last here you have the curated collage display. So this is going to show between uh, two to five pictures on the screen at once, creating a collage of different events. So that's kind of nice to have. I've really enjoyed seeing multiple photos at once. Here is an example of the collage where it's showing three or more photos. But if you only want large photos on a smart frame, you would want to turn that off and turn off the pairs as well. And then the last setting we have here is the channels. So with channels, 
We've already talked about this a little bit, but you can select the different photos. You have art gallery, the recommended channel, the clock channel. I've added more channels and uh, for a birthday, I created a channel for Claire where it just showed pictures of her. If you want to remove any of these, you click edit channels and there you can turn them off and you can change the order there. So if you click the minus here, it's just going to hide the channel down here and then you can delete it and you can organize and customize uh, what order they are in right here. When you have it selected the way you want, you can select save there. Now under channels, let's go ahead and go to the clock. So the clock settings, you have four different styles here. So you have a lifestyle clock, then you have an art clock, and then here you have an Instagram clock. It doesn't actually show Instagram photos, it just is this style, and then here you have industrial. Now on the screen here, you do have the option to favorite. So if you wanna add it to like your recommended channel, you can put the favorite there. That's the same thing as holding down the star button over on the frame. And then here in the settings, you do have just a few more things. You can change the name, change the room it's in, change its Wi-Fi, select the Google Photos account. Here you have the photo display settings. We just kind of talked about all that. If you're having issues with motion control, maybe your kids are moving it too much, you can come in here and turn off the motion controls. Next, we have brightness and sleep mode. So auto brightness has worked really great. It's automatically going to change the display based on the room environment. And then if the room gets so dark, it will turn off the display. And then here you have sleep mode. So sleep mode is enabled. Your smart frame will turn off when two conditions are met. When the time is selected, so we have this between nine and 6 a.m and then when the frame is in a dark environment. So if it's between this time and all the lights are off, the display is gonna turn off. But during this time, if you come in and turn on a light, the display is automatically going to turn on. I found that it actually worked really well. There was only one time where I thought it was on when it shouldn't have been, but uh, I think I just had to wait a few seconds longer and then it turned off. A second option to use the Lenovo Smart Frame is in desktop mode. So instead of using the mount, you can just put it off and place it down on top of a shelf. So let's go try that out now. Just fit. So here is desktop mode. It just sits on your desk or you could put it on a shelf. The only thing you do need to worry about is if maybe you have a slippery surface and it could slide out, but the device itself is heavy enough where here, I'm not worried about it doing that. It's kind of set there pretty well. Now here you can just straight the power cord over there and plug it into the closest charger and that's how it works. And here you have all the same options. You just don't have the option to rotate it. So here, if I want to use the motion controls, so far, I don't think it's working because of all our decorations. Let's try. There we go. So just don't have any decorations in the way and it should work fine. So now um, you can have the smart frame totally integrated into the decor of my camera died. So here it's really nice because you can have it integrated into the decor of your home. So here we have this nice little uh, fall display with all the pumpkins and here we're making pumpkin cookies So it's really cool to just quickly change the photos for maybe a birthday or a certain holiday showing photos from the last holiday It's really nice that you can have this totally integrated into your home now compared to using the frame over on the wall And over here on the shelf using it on the shelf got a lot more attention here You can see the kids wanted to use a lot more. And then we noticed that we were actually looking at it a lot more because this is right above our kitchen table. So whenever we were sitting down eating dinner, we would see different pictures pop up and we could talk about different events. And so we ended up leaving it here as we liked this spot a lot better. It just was a much more used location than over in the corner of the room. The other wall just didn't get as much attention, but this wall we're looking at pretty often. And uh, again, right above the table worked really, really well. And currently that is all the settings available for the Lenovo Smart Frame. And for the buttons on frame, here you can push the plus to go to the next photo. And then here you can push the minus. There you can see I did the motion controls when I didn't want to. And then if you just touch the star button, it's going to change the channel. But if you hold down the star, it is then going to add that photo to your favorite. So if I hold it down here, you can see that it adds that little star 
adding it to your favorites. Now, these buttons do hide when you're not close to the frame, so when it doesn't detect motion, and I think that it hides really well. You never notice them when they're not on the screen. Now let's control this with our Google Assistant. So we're gonna head into the Google Home app, select the plus, select setup device, and then have something already set up. And then we're going to search for Lenovo Smart Frame. Once we have found it, then we just need to select and sign into our Lenovo account. Once signed in back on the main page of the Google Home app, you will then see Smart Frame. So we can then add this into a specific room. There's really no options in the Google Home app that you can use this for, but once it is now linked, now we can turn on and off the display with Google Assistant. That's pretty much all you can do. Hopefully they add more controls in the future, but now let's head to the Amazon Assistant. To link with your Amazon Assistant, head into the Amazon Assistant app, select more, and then you're gonna select skills and search for Lenovo Smart Frame. Once found, we're going to select enable to use and sign into our account. Once it has been linked, now we can use our different Echo speakers to control the Smart Frame. Let's try out some commands. Next on Smart Frame. Change channel on Smart Frame. Well, that works pretty good. And you can also ask it to turn on or off the smart frame if you don't want it to display anything. We have been using the Lenovo smart frame now for a few weeks and I'm very impressed with what it can do. I love that it just displays photos big and bright and is able to adapt with the environment. Uh, these days we take tons and tons of photos on our phone, but now they just live in the cloud or they live on our phone storage and we never really print them off anymore. I at least haven't in the many, many years that I've used a phone, I've maybe printed off a few photos. So it's really awesome that this has the cloud integration where instantly um, within a day of taking photos, they now show up on this big bright display and I don't have to go and keep getting different prints and changing all of that all the time. It automatically does it so great here with the Lenovo smart frame. Just the other day we had a birthday and that evening it was showing those birthday photos right on the big screen so everyone could see them. So it's really a great addition to the home and you consistently have new photos showing up here. Now overall, I thought the frame worked really well with its ability to dim, the colors on the display, and even the motion controls. Sometimes I will just walk by or you move too close and it changes the uh, album or changes the channel and the different photos. So if you don't want that, you can turn those off but uh, I think it worked really well. Now, a few things I would like to see improved on the display is the options for some different channels. So I'd love to see like a Google Calendar channel so we could see our week of events coming up. Or it would be nice to see like a to-do list that you could display on here and push the plus button to check them off or something like that. So I think there's gonna be a lot of things you can do with this over time. So it'll just be nice to see where they go with this. Now, next is the smart home integration. So it's really interesting that Amazon has more features. You can turn it off, you can turn it on, you can change the channel, and you can even change the picture with Amazon's assistant. But with Google Assistant, the only options that you have are to turn it off and on, which is kind of interesting. I really wish that there was some casting integration. So maybe you're on Google Photos on your phone and you want to just quickly send that photo to the smart frame right now that doesn't work. So hopefully something like that's integrated. And then lastly, maybe the option to throw videos up here to play. It would be really cool, but again, it's not a TV. Um, so maybe it's not going to have that option, but that would be some nice smart home integration. And since starting the video, there have been a few updates. So here you now have the option to change the schedule or change the brightness separately. You can then turn off the keyframes, So those are the lights on the frame you can turn off. And then you have the motion controls where you can turn off the ability to swipe to the next photo or the ability to change the channel instead of only having one option. And the only other thing I would like to see improved is you do have to manually update the software. It would be nice if that would happen automatically overnight. Now, uh, the only other thing is my wife, her only comment about it was it would be nice if the frame was a little bit larger. Because we have kind of these big open walls here, it would fill in the space a little bit more, but if you have a smaller wall or a smaller place, I think it's a really good size, but maybe a second XL option would be really nice to have. 
So there you go, that is the Lenovo Smart Frame. If you are interested in checking out more about what it can do, I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you want to see more products made by Lenovo, I'll leave a link to some of the videos I've made over here on the side. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.